Welcome to Insight, today produced in partnership between Alaska Public Media and M. Oppenheim TV. We are chatting with Nina Kempel, President and CEO of the Alaska Community Foundation, which cultivates, celebrates, and sustains all forms of philanthropy to strengthen Alaska's communities. Nina has generously agreed to share some of her experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Nina, for joining us today. It's my pleasure. So the Alaska Community Foundation has had a tremendous impact over the years. Talk about the origins of the organization and what you aspire to change and evolve in Alaska in Alaska's communities. So the origin of the Alaska Community Foundation, it was founded um, 21 years ago by um, a real visionary group of Alaskan leaders. <clears throat> and really the purpose was to increase philanthropy across the state. We have a fairly extensive online presence, so mm -hmm. you can kind of learn about the organization and uh, learn about what we do in the different ways that you can structure your fund. At the Alaska Community Foundation, we're all about, it's, it's about the donor, um, and we work with the donor to make sure that they set up their fund the way that it works best for them. The service we provide is we take care of all the back end stuff, so we do all of the IRS reporting, we do all of the um, basically running what would be an otherwise right. independent trust. And so we take care of all the sort of details. Um, we invest the money obviously in a larger corpus which has great efficiencies for everyone. Mm -hmm. One of the other kind of things that we do is we actually have also nine affiliate funds in different communities across Alaska. Um, and so we also support them in their giving and in their um, philanthropy and um, we believe strongly that those communities know best how to give in their own communities. And so we pr provide support to them so that they can do just that. Um, so this is also respecting local knowledge. So the, affiliate, uh, the affiliates is very interesting because it is one of the tools that you use to deal with the geography mm -hmm. of Alaska, which, which imposes its own uh, set of challenges. It's important to us in Alaska because of our geographic challenges and because some of the communities that we serve are not accessible by car um, and you can get there only by air or by boat. Um, and so we work with our nine affiliates. When we say we want to grow philanthropy statewide, we need our affiliates. They are the ones with the knowledge on the ground. They know exactly who in the community um, will, will be able to do the most with the funding that we can provide. It started uh, in 2008. Uh, and has grown uh, to nine and, and potentially this year will grow actually to 11 mm -hmm. uh, affiliates. And it really was a partnership with the Rasmussen Foundation, who's uh, the largest family foundation here in Alaska and does wonderful giving across our state. It's been a huge supporter of, of the Alaska Community Foundations, but also of all the nonprofits across the state. Um, huge impact and, and they've been our partners and together we actually provide funding for the organiz for the different affiliates um, and um, help them with the grant making process and um, so it's been a program that's going uh, for about um, I guess eight years and um, we've seen some fantastic success out of it and we continue to see our affiliates grow and prosper and um, it's been really a, a great part of my job to get to go out into each of the communities and actually uh, be part of the affiliates and see the wonderful work that they've done because um, you know I think they've they've had amazing impact across our state and helped Alaska Community Foundation actually achieve its vision and mission of trying to truly promote philanthropy and you know real meaningful and insightful way and their kind of local knowledge has, has been a wonderful uh, addition to um, us sort of looking at it from a statewide perspective. So you are now involved in a $50 million campaign to strengthen the organization financially for the next journey. Talk about that campaign, mm -hmm. where you are, and how people can help. So uh, right now the Alaska Community Foundation has $75 million in assets, mm -hmm. um, most of which is in funds that are granted out on a regular basis. And about 5% of that is, is granted out annually. Is that about that's, right? That's about right. So we try to, the, the, the actual true amount of funds is about 66 million, but we try to, we grant about between 4 and 5% out a year. So it's a, it's a tradition, many of our funds are endowed funds, mm -hmm. so that 
those are the ones that are 5% each year, right. um, just to, to adjust for inflation and for some of the management fees. But the um, the return has been quite high at the Alaska Community Foundation, so we've done well by all of our fund holders. The, um, the, there are some, though, non-endowed funds, which can be given out by the donors of the mm -hmm. funds at any time, and, and we encourage that, too. We have a lot of really well um, positioned non-endowed funds. But really, the goal of the campaign, of the capital campaign, is um, we want to be able to be more resilient in meeting the different Alaskan needs, whether that be, um, you know, two years ago we had an incredible fire season. So right. we want to be able to be adjustable. Most, many of our funds right now are pre-designated um, to be funded in a certain way. So it can be go to pets in this community or it can go to basic needs in uh, on Alaska. But what we want to be able to do is be more kind of resilient and be able to, in the way we can react to funding different causes across the state when the need arises. So you want to strengthen yourself financially so that you can flexibly respond to community need, particularly important now where the price of oil is, is, exactly. is, is down and needs are, are becoming accentuated. Um, you're looking for unrestricted funding more unrestricted funding, and you want to increase your your corpus by about 70 percent. That's correct. So this is an endowment campaign. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be for funds that are endowed. Um, and the thought there is that we want to create um, a corpus that's large enough that we know that the legacy will live on for, for absolutely forever. Um, and one of the great things about a community foundation in general, whether it be Alaska or, any, or anywhere else, is once you create that corpus, it, it is there and it's um, a fundamental part of, of uh, right. what will be not just the next generation, but you know, 20 generations down the road for Alaska. And right now, there's a lot of um, individuals who have um, made their, their um, had their careers here, have earned a great deal of money here, and are at the position where they can and um, are wanting to start to get back. So when I say we're in a $50 million campaign, um, technically we are already have raised $24.5 million of the $50 million. Um, so we are well into it after, after sort of a soft launch of, of two years. Um, and it, the campaign goes through 2018. So it's a lofty goal given the you know def difficult economic times, but I think um, people are recognizing the need that Alaska is a place that um, is wonderful and that they love to live and that they want to invest back into it as they can. Well, Nina, thank you so much for your work. Thank you so much for describing the work of the Alaska Community Foundation, and thank you so much for your insights. Thank you for having me.